Hello everybody, welcome to the final of the first chalice of Blood Bowl 3. Um, it was called Tumblrwang by Nick who streamed it. I'm recording his broadcast here because there's no feature in game. You know, no replay feature in game because the game is absolutely terrible. Um, we're going to watch this on double speed. Maybe it's a speed and a half because it's elves, isn't it? Something interesting might happen with elves. Um, we've got Nick with 2270. Pro Elves, Elyod with 2535 Dark Elves, so very big teams. Uh, it's Res because there was no way to have a cup in this game. Um, so it was all done through friendly matches, so therefore, you know, kind of resurrection factor. Um, so, you know, that, that favoured the Elves, obviously. And the, the way the ladder worked favoured massive, massive teams. Interestingly, Nick went for um, the wizard and not a ref. This was good. It was just luck because, of course, they couldn't change their teams. So it was just luck that uh, he wasn't able to get a wizard and a biased ref. Um, I would, maybe would have gone the biased ref just because uh, <laughs> sneaky get dirty player is ridiculously, ridiculously overpowered. Um, so I, I would maybe take biased ref over the wizard. Like that's, I think that's how strong sneaky get DP is. Of which Elliot has about three of them. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, no, that's not the reason. That's absolutely not the reason why I'm depressed. I'm de I wish I secretly loved Blood, Blood Bowl 3. I would not make a secret of it. If I loved Blood Bowl 3, I'd shout it from the rooftops. I would have made a million guides. I would call them all official guide. <laughs> and I, would, I would message all Cyanide and try and get on their good side, you know. And I would really have given my all into Blood Bowl, you know, if, I, if it had been even a vaguely playable game, but instead it's terrible. It's the worst, one of the worst video games ever. It's, what, 33rd worst on Steam. It's one of the worst I've ever seen, one of the worst I've ever played. It's unbelievably terrible. But Nick is still good at Blood Bowl and Elliot is still good at Blood Bowl and there still can be good matches even if it's going to be a nightmare to watch them. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, it was a real good sell there, wasn't it? I'm watching this video. It's the worst thing I've ever seen or played. But, you know, look, we don't have to play it. We can just watch these guys playing it. And they're both really good, aren't they? Nick's, Nick's really good. Won Chalice twice. Elliot's, you know, qualified with every race for Chalice. Won a major and fumble. Very good at the Blood Balls. So, you know, both streamers. You can check out Nick and Elliot. I'll link both of their streams in the description. So um, you know, there's there's something there's something good. Oh, Nick here using the fantastic D defense that uh, that I taught him. So that's that's good, isn't it? Really good defense. Really like this defense that uh, that Nick stole from me. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going with this uh, with this and see if it works. Yeah, so this is this is actually for two thousand warp stone, which is like twenty dollars. So that, that's pretty great, isn't it? You know, Cyanide was able to offer the big bucks to uh, get people to watch these massive matches. You know, like really the only exciting thing for spectators in the whole of uh, Blood Bowl three, uh, they're not likely to implement Chalice officially. So ever they're not interested in it. They're interested in the rank, like the ladder being the main competition. They're not interested in Chalice. Uh, obviously, they know nothing about Blood Bowl, uh, but think they do. So they've got no plans to have any chalice ever. So these, and obviously the people who ran these, you know, very, very nice um, community volunteers have no interest in running anymore because it was a nightmare. Um, and yeah, you know, so like this is it. That, that was, you know, the, all their advertising budget, which, you know, even for this is definitely in thousands, isn't it? I mean, it's definitely in thousands. You know, maybe it's not in millions, but it's definitely in thousands. And one of the best things they could have done was to uh, <laughs> to get interest. Well, A, it would be to have a spectating function. But B, it would be to like promote this competition a bit, wouldn't it? You know, that would have been a really good thing for them. They could have done that. And how much did they offer? <laughs> $40 worth of fake currency. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> so, you know, that's it. That really is amazing, isn't it? But yeah, look, at least they're not working too hard. At least they're not working too hard. We, we got that from that interview with them on the internet. 
they're definitely not working too hard so that, that's great news so yeah here we go we've got what three four guard all every blitzer has got guard for Elyad and uh, that's what the red thing is same as Blood Bowl 2 we've got yellow is like the dodge isn't it so they've all got blodge guard um, this is sidestep I think this one can you see my cursor can you see my cursor yeah yeah and this is defensive defensive is really good oh look here's the first sneaky get foul is an instant Kaz. This is a pre-nerf sneaky git, which will probably be on Blood Bowl uh, 3 forever. They'll probably never have the real rules. Um, so you can move after he fouls. Ah, well, Mason Rampage, you can check it out here. Um, it's called the I called it the Gedanik setup because he stole it from me, but actually it's the Fantastic D. I need I need to remake that and call it the Fantastic D because <laughs> it's a great name. And he didn't steal it; he invented it. But um, I am now going to steal it from him. So yeah, sneaky get dirty player, really really powerful. Um, I would I would be blitzing the sneaky get TP here. I would have geified as Eliod and. Nick blitzes the witch elf here. I can remember I tried to do this before and I was in a much worse mood and I gave up because I thought, you know, I should try and give it my all. I think it's genuinely bad by Nick here blitzing the witch. Oh, so he's trying to get through and create some pressure. Okay. Well, it's three, three twos to get through, though. I don't really like that. I'd much prefer to just hit the DP. Honestly, the DP sneaky git is ridiculous. <laughs> it cannot be overstated how insanely powerful the... Uh, the DP sneaky get is. And he fails the one in nine dodge. Again, you see with Blood Bowl 3, things happen. You've got really no idea why they happened or something's happened or the turn's over or what the hell is going on. And pretty much any point, I have no idea what's happening in this game. So that, that's good, isn't it? Um, looking at Nick's team, Nick's got a couple of guards. He's got a frenzy. They, they took some like random skills because they, you know there was no reason not to because the cup was coming this could have been good I guess if Nick had come through this guy could have come around the edge right one two three four five six seven eight he could have come in there without any dodges or done a two plus to get, to get further rather than opening with a three two but um not that unlucky to one and nine but a bit unlucky wasn't it maybe he thought he had to be ballsy to try and do something he's got the wizard hasn't he so not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> Everything's got pros and cons. I'm going to go at double speed. One and a half is fucking boring. <laughs> double speed. That's the pow. Pow's his blodger. We're going to foul him with sneaky git. I think we are. Uh, does the bracket for the to count the sidestep? Yeah, big gang foul. And then he gets to move and cage up. Like he gets to use the guy as a cage member after fouling. It's disgusting. Honestly, sneaky git. So good. It, it's a big nerf not being able to move afterwards, which is in tabletop. Again, this will probably take years to be applied to Blood Bowl 3, um, if it ever is. But it has been nerfed in tabletop, and rightly so. Nick just has to pull everyone back now, right, and uh, regroup. Oh, wait, he's blitzing, he's blitzing the ball? Holy shit. Okay, he's not, he's not coming back to regroup. He's doing this for some reason. <laughs> Maybe he thought he needed to. I'm surprised. I'm surprised Elliot didn't dump off. To be honest, it was three twos to hit him, wasn't it? Of course, the, uh, the way to use the wizard in this game is absolutely horrendous, so maybe Nick even wanted to use the wizard, but just couldn't. Who knows? 
blocked his path through here. Oh no, there's not a path through there. I thought there was a path through there, but it's not because it would be a 4 3 2. So he just blitzed the ball for basically no reason. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure I like that. Well, I mean, I'm sure I don't like it. Also, both teams with loads of re rolls. You can see Nick's still got four, Elliot's got six re rolls there. Really is huge TV teams. Elliot will just be wanting to make a foul on this guy this turn. Is probably the main main focus of his turn. Is who who he can sneaky get DP. Gonna three dice this fellow. Don't get him. Yep, another foul. Notton gets the guard assist in, the new rules. This guard gets an extra assist, lovely. It's amazing how just looking at Blood Bowl 3 saps my enthusiasm <laughs> for casting this game or <laughs> just being alive in general. <laughs> it's literally so bad. Oh god. I'm sad. I'm sad that they killed Blood Bowl. I basically just killed online Blood Bowl. It's a Kaz there. That was the uh, problem with exposing his uh, his foul. That fails the argue the call to sent off. I mean, Elliot has like three uh, three sneaky get DPs. I'm surprised he only fielded one. Honestly, I would have I would have wanted to field two <laughs> because they're not even po positional cost right fouling. The fact you get a move afterwards and you only get sent off if you uh, break AV. Yep, soul sucking graphics indeed, dog to the dog. Yeah. It's so ugly, isn't it? It's literally so dark and ugly. It's just depressing. It's like if they made England, right? You know, if they took Coronation Street and turned it into a video game, this is it. In fact, not even that, there's a bit of humour in it. EastEnders, like, you know, just fucking grey, overcast, raining, cold. Just Britain's weather in a uh, in graphical form. Horrible, <laughs> absolutely freaking horrible. Diving tackle. Nick had a few diving tackle. That's what he had on his team here. Uh. <sighs> <laughs> Thanks, Mister Yemen. <laughs> Right, so yeah, diving tackle there, do, doing a thing. He went quite a few diving tackles at Gudernik. Maybe he's with the, uh, you know, it's good at exploiting really bad players, isn't it? Diving tackle, and then I guess it sets him up for the elf off in the playoffs a little bit. Like they kind of knew each other were, you know, they had a good chance of playing each other in the finals. They had really good teams, and they're both really good coaches. Stand firm. He's got stand firm because Elliot's tactic was to random strength skills on uh, on his blitzers. That's why he's got stand firm. There it doesn't actually cost him forty TV. The dump off's actually really good, isn't it? In an elf off, that sort of if he gets, uh, if he does get blitzed, he can dump it off. Well, depending on how dangerous he feels the blitz is.
No, Big Chi Chi. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play it again. Not unless they make it better. And I've got no hope that they will, you know. Somebody said, I hope Blood Bowl 3 is better eventually. And it's like, you know, you've got about as much hope of that as uh, as PC has with Angelina Jolie, finally. Like, it's just not... It's just not going to happen. This is a pretty easy hit on the ball. Does, is he, does he want to go for it this time? I guess the recovery, Wizard. He, he can't think about the Wizard now, of course, because Blood Bowl 3 is rubbish. <laughs> so he's, he's missed his chance to use the Wizard already. Oh, shadowing. Oh. Gets through for the guard assist. Of course. So in the old rules, you might think of just making this a 1D, right? But now with multiple re-rolls. Oh, he miscalculated. <laughs> he miscalculated and forgot the guard. Oh, dear. Oh dear, Nick. Or oh, maybe he didn't. Because that's defensive, see, so he couldn't, he couldn't assist from there. So he miscalculated, he did miscalculate, right? He could have just gone here. Because this one's blitzing, is he? He's turned over anyway. Something happened. Nobody really cares because the game's garbage. But I'm, you know, I'm trying. I'm really trying my best. You know, I think the people running the tournament was really cool. Um, giving people something to play for ever. The only time there was anything to play for in Blood Bowl three, probably ever, were these two preseason chalices. They didn't bother a third one because they were disillusioned. And then Cyanide have got no plans to have them. Okay. Like officially. I'm just acutely aware that I'm not playing Minecraft right now. Honestly, this is... Uh I've got I've got a system a hopper system to to check to tr test out and I've got a I've got a looting mob farm set up to try and I've got a bubble jet collection system and all these things that I want to try and uh, yep and instead here we are with Blood Bowl three. Had to do it eventually. Is Elio going to score here? He's going to serve the sidestep. Oh, because the ball carry's got sidestep. So. Yeah, just pack in there. He could have again. Nick could have used the wizard here, but due to blood ball three, he can't make the decision. Yeah, I mean a step in the right decision, KLZD, is not hard when you're in the worst fucking position ever. <laughs> <laughs> When you're when you're neck deep in shit, any <laughs> any you know even if you move half a millimeter up, it's still the right direction, isn't it? There's nowhere else to there's nowhere else for them to go but up. No, you don't have to find some positive. No, you don't. You just need to you just need to be realistic. 
You just need to be sensible. Sensible and realistic. And I would love this game to even be playable. I would love it, but it's not. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better. Right? Exactly, Kale's at evil. There's no being idiotically positive. That's being realistic, right? All you can do is play better. You can, all you can do is try and play better. You can't even play better. Notice I didn't even say play better. You can, all you can do is try and play better. That's all you can do, isn't it? All you can do is try your best in Blood Bowl. That's the only, the only tool you have. Oh, he's getting his side up served again, isn't he? I don't think there's anywhere he can go. Oh, maybe he's here. Yeah, yeah, so that... Because I was thinking the Witch Elf can come around and serve him, but... That probably doesn't get him served. Oh, no, he, no, he can, can't. He hasn't blitzed yet, so he can blitz this one. Has he blitzed? If he hasn't blitzed, he can blitz this one and then assist there. Like, push him to there and assist there. I mean, all, all Nacon or Cyanide can do is just, I mean, what they should do is, is cut their losses. You know, that, that's what they should do. Oh, he had an extra play that I didn't even see. All right, he gets to surf anyway. Wow, great play from Nick here. Great advert for Gdanix play here. Just gets two sidesteppers surfed. <laughs> Achieves basically nothing. Yeah, we're watching, we're watching Nick's original stream at uh, double speed. Because, you know, watching live Blood Bowl is horrific. <laughs> uh, there is no spectate mode in Blood Bowl 3, so i just having to watch his stream of the epic Season 1 final. Now he's running away. Because his team has been murdered. This is not through the client, nope, there is no way to do so in game. Nick with the blitz declaration to see if he uh, Oh no no he is going for the blitz, okay. I thought he was doing the blitz declaration to see if uh to see if Elliot did the dump off. Like it was just dump off bait. But he did go for it. Three dice blitz. See, this is the sort of thing that that Eliard almost never gets incorrect. So getting, making those three days at the end. So there you go. Half of the job done for Eliard. I guess he just put sidesteppers on the LOS. He's got enough of them. And everyone else needs to be a few squares back so they don't get pushed into it. So it's interesting. Because if he doesn't put anything else up... Glorious. No, I won't give in. Four. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> my nights are sleepless. I still dream. I've won and lost many things in my career. This is my chance. In my way there is a man and that man has my gold my ticket to the top. He may be the champion, he may be the best in the industry today, I but he is no scouser and he <laughs> never will be for years. I've been chasing this dream. <laughs> it's a nightmare. There you go. Thank you very much, Steve. Absolutely glorious. 28 months. Unbelievable. Seven full people presencies over two years. Incredible. And, uh, yeah, pretty great. Pretty great <laughs> He's no scouser. <laughs> oh dear. The beaver. The beaver remote. Love to see the beavers. Don't see many beavers these days. <laughs> like, you can look at the analytics to see how many people use your remotes and. Uh... Not many, not many use the beaver remote, but it's pretty good, isn't it? Then uh, there's no beavers on Minecraft. No, there's rabbits, pigs, cows, sheep, camels, horses. No beavers. I might build a dam on Minecraft and say beavers built it. Right. So here's the th here's the thing. 
So it is you going to use Frenzy? I don't even need, wait. Yeah, he's going to use the Frenzy, yeah. Yeah, can we pause it here? Yeah. Yep, so he's filling in. He's filling in the back here. And he's going to push him to there, and he sidesteps one forward. And then he might be able to push him again from the side one, so he should be able to get him two squares forward. This is the danger, like, it's hard to defend because if you, uh, you give him the frenzy hit. Oh, probably shouldn't have moved this guy. This guy was going to make, does he only need one push? I don't know how fast his player is. If he only needs one push, then this is enough. Yeah, yeah he must, he must have, can't click on players or anything because there's no replay. I think he's movement nine with sprint. Sprint sure feet movement nine, so we just needed one push. So yeah, we went for the frenzy. So they had to do a one D blitz. So there you go, successful defence for Eliod. More than halfway there now. Dark L's pretty good, like I think in the in the mirror. So uh Eliod still has a full eleven. Nick has had five players removed in terms of KOs, Kaz, and send-offs. I think Nick might be down to 10. You can't see because obviously Nick's moving around all the time. And there's no replay functionality. <laughs> oh my god, Nick, stop moving the camera, you lunatic. Okay, I, I, there's, no, there's no point even trying to count. Wait until I'm on the pitch. So random, r standard rule of five there for Eliod. Yeah, down to ten. Started with 15, down to ten. Unbelievable. Standard rule of five. Great defense, honestly. Uh, the only defense anybody need is is Chevron's in rule of five, really. A lot of bollocks talked about setups when it's just not necessary. They are like the two concepts, right? Spread out to make it hard to get penetration or uh, hold the center. Protect your best players. Have uh, have some responsiveness. I might do a new setups guide. I mean, I, I want to do guides for Blood Bowl 3, but the game's fucking horrible. It's so bad. Like, it's so bad. I don't want anything to do with it. It's literally so bad. Just logging into it makes me depressed. Looking at how bad it is makes me depressed. I wanted this game to be good. More than anyone on earth, I wanted this game to be good. That's not even an exaggeration, is there? Because how many people even wanted this game made? Not many. <laughs> Maybe 2,000 people wanted this game made. So it's not... It's not as a, an insane claim as it may sound exactly dog to the dog like I just it would be like disingenuous like I couldn't do it it's not it's not me I could make like you know blood ball 2020 guides right and use blood ball 3 as the medium for them but even then it's like it's just depressing it's depressing how awful it is I literally get depressed looking at it, like... I mean, now it's hurting my eyes and it's not even... I'm not even watching the game, I'm just watching... A stream of the game, it's... It's absolutely hideous. Hideous, like it's... Why is it so dark? Have these people never seen sports before? What, what sports screen is this dark, ever? Ever? Apart from like a night match, right? This is like the Super Bowl at night is this dark. 
fucking awful. Awful. There you go anyway, Nick's caged up. Elliot can put a bit of pressure on. I think he might basically all man's him now, right? He's got the uh he's got the man advantage, Elliot. So he can just punch make it very fighty. There's another one gone down to nine players. Just like uh you know, try and choke him out. Lovely little stab. Yeah, he said give me the honeymoon special. <laughs> Hello, Keith Bix. Hello, Keith. It's actively depressing. It's actively depressing looking at this game, man. Because it's like... It's not just bad, is it? It's also like, you know... This makes me think, I wish it was good. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. Like, I just wish it was good. I just wish it was good. And seeing how awful it is reminds me how awful it is. Yeah, honestly, the Blood Bowl 2 is, like, so much better, man. After playing the Era BB, that's been really fun. Fumble was fun. I played a bit of Fumble. Fumble's really fun, right? You're playing Blood Bowl. Great fun. Really enjoyed playing the new rules on Fumble. This is just a nightmare. And it's it's even worse because it could have been good. Oh wow, goes for the 4 plus 1D. Gets the full pow and the AV break. Oh my god, and a lovely scatter. Disgustus. Disgusterous from Eliad. Even gets to GFI into a screen here as well. And he can just re-roll everything because multiple re-rolls. There you go. It's a good, good advert for the multiple re-rolls, right? What, how it encourages elves to be slightly more aggressive than they were in the old days. Um, you know, guys like Chunter who like that kind of style will enjoy it definitely, and it just means that it makes the games versus elves so much harder, right? Because if you leave anything on like that, they can just chuck a bunch of a bunch of re-rolls at it and almost guarantee it working. This is a replay, yes, it's a rebroadcast of Gadenik's original stream. Mmm, I did, I did, Keith. It was great, it was really great. Oh, Stradi, okay, imagine that. That that's the that's the that, the worst thing as well. All these idiots saying, "Oh, you all complain about Blood Bowl three. Forget how bad Blood Bowl two was at launch, and Blood Bowl two was nothing like as bad as Blood Bowl three at launch. Completely incomparable." Nick's highlighting this square to make it more likely to have tackle zones around. I think that square would have been better than the square Elliot chose. Yeah, I like going to this one. Nope. Oh! He failed the pickup! He failed the pickup! 
diced. I didn't complain about error BB though, right, Keith? I, I complained about... I complain about the meta of leagues is is what I complain about. Because it is garbage, isn't it? I made 51 passes and was happier finishing third than first. I mean, that's not that's not a knock on error BB. That's just a knock on the way Blood Bowl works and leagues work. Like, there's no... There really is no getting away from it. It's just a price you've got to pay if you want to play in leagues. Oh. Le double surf here from Eliod. Lovely, lovely play there. Lovely play from Eliod. This is basically GG now, isn't it? Four players surf for Nick. <laughs> oh no, that one wasn't surf, but he got KO'd anyway. And now he fireballs too late, probably. Oh, leaked. Uh, maybe, maybe he should have fireballed in the first half. There were a couple of chances to do it. But the, the thing about the fireball now is you've got to make this decision so early during your opponent's turn. It's absolutely terrible. This is great value fireball, right? But it's just low odds of him getting something from it. Even as He does have stats. You can't see what the stats are. Um, they're not highlighted by the UI, but you know, so maybe he's got bigger chances than you'd think. Doesn't look like it. he's got a movement nine for that. I mean, he had to do it then, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not disparaging him for doing it now. Like, he had to do it now, but it's, it's not very likely to be too little, too late. This is pretty good though, from from Nick. Pretty good, pretty good to get that right. He had that screen, and then he could have the catcher could have run up, got it. Gone there, lobbed it to him. It was the only chance he had. He like he did play to his only out pretty much. So fair play. Now it's should be definitely plain sailing for Elliot. But you know that's the thing. You know Nick can still throw in four rerolls on one turn to try and uh, try and make a ball sack. So it's. It's really crazy, it's really crazy how it affects elves. I wonder if the passing nerf was even necessary, like, you know, the, the passing nerf may have been necessary just because of how how powerful elves are, are able to throw in all of the rerolls in one turn. Of course, it could have just, they could have just not had that rule. <laughs> <laughs> and not nerfed passing into the ground for no reason, but hey. It is what it is. Double one KO'd. Alright, that's it. Gdanik <laughs> is off with his headset, off with his jumper. <laughs> he was he was angry about that. And that's pretty much over now, isn't it? You could even turtle Elliot. Oh my god, another cars. God, what is this angle, Nick? <laughs> Nick's whole team gone, basically. <laughs> I mean, don't say it's over. But it's looking very much like Elliot's going to be the champ. Funny, isn't it? After qualifying for every Blood Bowl 2 chalice and never winning it. He's, uh, looks like he's going to win Blood Bowl 3 chalice. 
on his first attempt. Anyone's first attempt. Right, Pogler, crazy, isn't it? Yeah, me too. I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Elliot. I think he's great. I love you, fairy dude. Honestly, I was more happy. I was more happy when, when. Rick won than if I had won, and more happy when Elliot won than if I had won as well. It's funny, isn't it? Just end the turn. End the fucking turn, man. It's over. Say it's over. I mean, you've got to disable the emotes, right? So. Spamming them doesn't do anything because... Right, and then at the end it just says connection lost. There's no, like... <laughs> the, the screen lasts for, like, half a second. Right, there you go. That was that was the final. <laughs> that was the final. <laughs> Amazing fanfare. Um... You know, here's a great picture though, look, of Kalon, Volcaho, and Kfog, and a packet of Tato with the... I've uh, been baptised in my own sweat. <laughs> with the thing. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll leave that there. And, um, yeah, that that was the final of uh, of the first ever Blood Bowl 3 chalice. Amazing. Uh, so there you go. Again, oh, check oh. out... Check out Nick and Elliot if you haven't already. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.